Hello, friends, welcome to Simple Makeatronics. Now, small robot is programmed as path follower, using AT Tiny 84. The line followers, IR sensing arrangements, and width, are to be modified. Measure the robot width, then select suitable PCB, and cut it, for IR sensors board. Disconnect, and remove, the IR sensor board, of line follower. Now, plan to position the new PCB, for IR sensor board, below the bracket. Make suitable holes, for fixing it, below the bracket. Then, plan 4 IR sensors position, symmetric to center point. 2 on left side, and 2 on right side. 3 mmIR LED, and 3 mmIR sensor pairs, are used here. Total, 4 IR pairs are positioned, on PCB, as shown here. The signal output pins are planned here. This is the circuit diagram of one set of IR pair, consist of one IR LED, and one IR sensor. This is the IR sensor board, consist of four IR sensor pairs, and five volts DC power supply connections. This is the IR sensor board, used for path follower, consist of four IR sensor pairs, and five volts DC power supply connections. These are four signal outputs. Check the IR LEDs, through any digital camera. The IR sensors may be covered, using heat shrink tube, to reduce external interference. Now, to test the IR sensors, connect the cathode, of an LED, to ground wire. Then, connect anode of the LED, to signal output pins, one by one. Check that the LED, responds to the reflected IR light. Press like button, if you like this video. Now, assemble the sensor board, with the bracket, using two long screws, and nuts, as shown. Then, adjust the nuts, to get required gap, from IR sensor board, with respect to flow. Now, connect four jumper wires, to signal output pins. This is the main circuit diagram for path follower. This is AT Tiny 84. This is 6 pin connector for base frame. This is sensor board connector. This is ISP port for programming. This is black or white line selection jumper. And this is start switch. This is the main board soldered as per the previous circuit diagram. The jumper is set for the black line. Now insert the 6 pin connector into the PCB of the base frame. Then, connect the four jumper wires to the main board. And power supply connector too. Now, the path follower is ready. Switch on the power supply. The red LED blinking indicates that the line color is set to black. Now, draw a black line. The two LEDs on each side tries to detect the edge of the black line. But, for the path follower, the two LEDs on other end also should detect the edge of another black line. So, theoretically, the inner edges of both the black lines, should lie between, the mid of two LEDs set, on either side. This is the ideal arrangement, of the IR sensors, and black lines, for the path follower. So, whenever the path follower, moves out of the path, the code, turns it in opposite direction, to set it within the two lines. This is the closed loop path, designed for testing, the path follower. This path has acute angle turn, obtuse angle turn, four perpendicular turns, and a smooth curve. Here, equal width is maintained at all corners, to have smooth turnings, for the path follower. Now, you may test, the path follower, on real size path. Here, the path follower is, moving between, two black colored lines. At least, one side of the line should be, below the one extreme IR sensor, of the same side. Now, test the path follower, on reverse direction also. Press subscribe button, and set the bell icon, to all notifications. To get notifications, about more projects, in future. Now, set the shorting jumper, for white line.
Yellow LED blinks now instead of red. Now, you may observe that the path follower can move on white line and uses single line only. With two lines on either side, makes the movement of the path follower more comfortable and accurate. The path follower can move in the reverse direction also with single or two lines. Thanks for watching the video. The source code is available at Simple Makeatronics website. Links for more projects are available in the description below. Bye friends. See you in the next video.